Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Welcome to the Mead Tournament of 2018. Now, uh, I have here 16 meads. I recently finished my 16th mead, and I thought to myself, what better number uh, to, they to make a tournament with? So, this tournament, the goal of it is to see who can take and go from their side and who can be the best in the end. So I have um, given each one a different number. Uh, I have numbers for them, but I gave them different numbers. I honestly don't know which is which. I mean, I can, I can take some inferences from some things, but I don't know for sure which is which. So part of this is to test how well I know my own mead, the taste of it and trying it and things, and then also to see of my meads what's the best. I thought this video would be really fun. I'm excited for it. I made this whole thing. Um, it's gonna be really fun. So, to get started, I'm gonna start on this side. We're gonna work tournament bracket style. And so, you know, it's gonna be four, uh, four ver layers, basically. First one, first, and then second, third, and then, of course, the finale to see who's there in the end. All right, enough of me talking. There's a lot of mead. Uh, I have plenty of water, and I'm very excited to start trying stuff. I will be sure to tell you what uh, meads I am working with at the moment. So uh, don't be don't be like, oh, well, I don't know what you're trying. I'll be sure to uh, show you what I am trying at the moment. So to get started, here's a, a quick picture of everything, all the meads. Right now, I don't know, but in post, I'm going to go through and I'll put a little label above all of them. So here you go. All right. So. Like I said, let's get started with the right side and go from there. Here we go. Okay, first things first, uh, this is number nine versus number 13. This is the uh, eight finals, as they would call it, where you have eight on each side. So first I'm gonna try the number nine. Like I said, I don't know um, for sure which one's which. I will know, hopefully when I taste it, I'll know I mead well enough to be able to say, what's what. But uh, the hope is, let's see, let's see what I can predict. So um, what you can do is place your bets and just kind of see who, who you think is going to win ultimately. Like I said, I put up a list earlier um, and I'll put a list in the description too of all my meads and their numbers right now. So you can uh, kind of see who you think will ultimately win the whole tournament. But number nine, let's see. It's a, uh, I think my number nine is my cherry, if I'm not mistaken. One, the flavor helps a little bit to know. But two, it's got, uh, it's not too sweet, not too tart, but it's definitely got that, uh, the darker cherry taste to it. So, it's good, it's a little dry, but it's, it's still kind of sweet. The number 13 now, this was the nine, here's the 13, it's a different color. Oh man, this one, it's a fruit. It's not one of my traditional meads. It is, I believe this is my pear mead. It tastes like my pear mead. Um, it tastes really good. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't have too big of a bite of that, of uh, the fruit taste, but ultimately it's pretty good. Of the two in this battle, I would say, The pear, well, hopefully pear mead, moves on. So, sorry number nine, you didn't make it out of your first bracket, but that's okay. Moving on to the next one. All right, next up, we have uh, two more, of course, going in pairs. Uh, this is the number two, which has a nice kind of light color. It looks pretty good, pretty, uh, like, you know, based on the color, it's definitely probably a fruit. And then the number 11, which is, they are almost identical in color. This one's just a little bit darker, and that's totally okay. I'm gonna start with my right hand this time. This is the 11. We'll see what it tastes like. Definitely a traditional meat. Pretty sweet. I would say this is probably the April monthly meat, 
uh, which was a traditional meat that I did. Still young, uh, hasn't aged for a long time. I don't taste a lot of the age in it quite yet. Uh, however, it's still really good. Uh, I mean, I, I it's, it's good. That's the 11. Very sweet. Wow, very, very sweet. Oh, man, this is already getting difficult. Oh gosh. I think this one's a traditional meat as well. I don't taste very many fruit flavors or anything. Uh, this is the number two. This is the number 11. Of the two of them, I'm a more sweeter meat person, so ultimately I like this one. This traditional, well, I think traditional meat is pretty good. Uh, but the number two, which I think, I think it's a, tradi a traditional meat. I think it's, uh, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure. I'm already kind of stumped. So, number two though. How are you doing? I don't know if you placed your bet, but place your bet in. Let me know what you think. Who's going to win? Place it down in the comments. Uh, I think this will be kind of fun. Number two moves on. Okay, next up. This is the number eight, which is a darker colored mead, which get, lends me to believe it might be um, one of my, like the Boche or something like that, I don't know, just because I've done a lot of light colored ones. Now this one's a very light color. Um, I don't know, based on color, it's hard to say because a lot of these have the same color ultimately. Um, but I want to try, this time I'm gonna start with the number eight. So let's see what it tastes like. Oh, I would definitely say this is probably the boche. It tastes like the burnt um, caramelized honey. If you don't know what a boche is, you caramelize the honey, you burn it basically, then you put it in the meat. And it's uh, really good. I really like it. Uh, this is more than likely the boche. Leaving us with this is number eight. Leaving us with number six, lighter color. 100% that is the lemon and lime meat. Now since I last tasted it, um, it was really really sour. It's calmed down some. The the flavor has subsided. It's not so uh, hard to drink. It's you know it's pretty good. But 100% lemon and lime meat. I am a huge fan of the Boche, so it moves on. But number six, the lemon and lime mead is pretty good too. So I would give both of them a shot. Okay, next up, we have the number 16, which is a light mead, and the number 14, which both of them are pretty light in color. Uh, on the camera, this one looks a little darker, but to my eye, they're pretty pretty close. But uh, this one, they're both, I've, I don't have 16 glasses of the same type. I didn't really want to buy 16 glasses, so they're all kind of sorted in different ways, um, and that's totally fine. Uh, it's, I still don't know <laughs> what's what. Here we go, let's start with the 14. Man, the aroma. Woo! Now that I say the last one was the lemon and lime, this one's got a citrusy. Makes me think of, uh, it's not the, I don't think it's the orange meat. It's gotta be the orange meat. I don't know. Darn, now, now I think that this is the lemon and lime meat. It says what I know. Uh, the, not all meats taste the same, but I feel like the, these are getting similar. I think this is the lemon lime. It's got a little citrus, got a little bite to it. It's still, it's still good though. 16, let's see. It's smoother. This one, um, hmm. I think, I think this one is, uh, Probably the, maybe the uh, pear, or the, or the, not the peach. Peach was a little bit, um, had a little more bite to it. Gosh. I, I wanna say that this one, going off, and I'm going off my brain right now, I don't have my lists in front of me. Um, this, this tastes like it's probably the, uh, the pear mead. But I could very well, well be wrong. You guys will know more than me, ultimately. 
So of the two, uh, this one has a little more bite, which I, uh, I don't mind the bite, but I do like the more smooth of this right now. So number 16 is the victor in this case. All right, next up, uh, we've cleared off half the board. F uh, four meads have fallen, four meads have continued on. I'm throwing mead in the air, actually. Um, and so now we're on the next side. So four meads now will fall and four will keep going. This is the number seven versus the number three. Now, uh, they're both light colored. A lot of mine are light colored. This one is definitely a little bit darker. This one looks like it might have uh, some more fruit kind of tone to it, because this one's very, very clear as opposed to this one. So this could be just be, just be younger as well though. Starting with my left, number seven. Definitely a, a um, mellow bow. I think that this is, I think that this is the orange meat. It tastes like it could be the orange meat. It's still young, and it doesn't have, um, the flavor's not too bold, but it's still pretty good. And then we also have the three, which is that lighter color one. I already smelled the cinnamon. Um, ooh, that's great. This must be, I bet this is the uh, apple cinnamon mead, so it has to be. Um, I'm a huge fan of this one. This one's good. I like the orange. However, the cinnamon with this kind of kicks through and really gives that uh, apple that extra flavor when you think of like a, like an apple pie or something like that. So the winner of this round is the number three, which I believe is the uh, apple cinnamon mead. Okay, next up. All right, we are down uh, quite a few meads. The, these are definitely strong meads, so I bet by the end of this video uh, I'm going to be feeling it at least a little bit. So luckily I'm not drinking all of them quite yet, you know, I want to, um, you know, that might come later, we'll see. But uh, I haven't poured, I didn't pour too much to where I would have a ton of leftover, I didn't want to overdo it. Next up is the number one versus the number 15. These two are very similar in color as well. and. Smell-wise, this one's a little sweeter, so we'll see how it uh, how they taste. Number one first. Very smooth. Not dry at all. No um, no uh, bite to it, which makes me think. Um, gosh, which one could this be? Maybe my apple meat, maybe just the straight apple meat, I think. Uh, it's either apple or uh, not the mango. I bet it's the apple meat. Next, number 15. Lighter taste. This has to be a lighter fruit. I'm thinking it's the. Um, I'm thinking this one is the, the peach mead. Maybe the peach. Hmm. This is hard. Both of these are really smooth and really good. Pretty equal in taste, frankly. Um, I would say that ultimately, uh, I do enjoy this one a little more. This one's nice and sweet and great, but this uh, one, which I don't, I can't say for sure which it is, uh, it's just got that, it got a little more, um, the little bite on it, which I do like in this case. I do like the bite on this one more than I do the really smooth of this one. So, number one moves on. Next up. All right, next up, I had to take a minute to cleanse my palate just to make sure that I'm tasting these on a, a fair playing field. Ultimately, we have the number four and the number five. Looking at the colors, uh, this one is definitely a little clearer than this one, which makes me uh, think that this one could be a lighter fruit, but I'm not sure. So, number four, first, first. Oh, this one, this is 100%. The, uh, oh, I wanna say it's the peach meat. Has to be the peach meat. I'm, I'm betting on it. 
Number five. Mmm, mmm. This is the candy cane mead, if I've ever tasted it. Oh my gosh. Just the smell of it is pure bliss. Oh, this, I gotta give it to the candy cane mead. I love, love this mead. Now, kind of impartial to it in that, well, you know, kind of uh, unfair in that I just love this mead. This one, frankly, the peach comes through, but it's not as um, sweet peach flavored as I would like. It's more of like the after kind of aromic taste of the peach. The um, peppermint candy cane mead moves on. I love this one. It's so good. The last of the eight finals round is number 10 versus number 12. Um, so this one, the color differences are very, very different, which makes me believe that this one could be a couple uh, options. And I don't know what the number 10 could be just because I've been so similar in color. But starting with, let's start with the number 10 this time. Number 10. Um, I don't taste any fruit. I think this is a. I think this is a traditional mead. I think this is a, one of my early traditional meads. Like, I'm not sure though. Uh, it's it's not bad, but it's not the best uh, that I've had. Ten or excuse me, twelve. Flavor, smell of it. So good, 100% the blueberry mead. Got that nice blueberry uh, taste. I put the blueberries in the primary, or excuse me, secondary with this one. And they sat for a while, really came through. I pureed them, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Gotta give it to the blueberry mead. This time, number 10, it's gotta stay back. Um, and we now have finished the eighth finals. All right, we have finished the eighth Finals, so we are left with the running of, on this side, we have the 16, the 8, the 2, the 13, the, on this side, we have the 3, the 1, 5, and the 12. So, you should be putting in your bets and just seeing where you stand if you go out early. Uh, make another bet. Let's just see how far you can go ultimately. So, uh, these videos will come out in time. Um, I want to kind of span them out over a little bit because this is a really fun series, really cool series. I hope you've enjoyed this part. You can see uh, real fast where you stand. I'll put a quick uh, picture up, a video. So, here is everything we have. This is all of what we're dealing with. So, we are going for that centerpiece. Stay tuned for the next video, and you will find out who takes the next step. We are on to stage three of our uh, Mead Tournament of 2018. So, see you next time, and I'm excited. Hey there, this is Man Made Mead. Last time we left off, we were doing our Mead Tournament, and so I'm very excited to say we are on stage three of the four. We finished stage four last video. That's these guys who are unfortunately the losers. And we are left with the following meads. The 13, the two, the eight, the 16, the three, the one, the five, and the 12. So you should place your bet and see if you are right, if you are still in the running because of your bet you placed earlier, that's awesome. Keep it going, I hope your mead wins. I hope, uh, <laughs> hope that's kind of fun. Um, but let's continue on. We are going to go into the stage three. We are real close to seeing um, who is the victor ultimately. So here we go. All right, we are in stage three now uh, of the mead tournament. So we're gonna start off with our left side with the 13 and the two. Now these were the victors of their other competition and so they are so similar in color. They look like twins. Um, but we're gonna see where they stand. And this is where my nose and my, my taste buds are gonna get even more critical of these because I wanna pick the best mead that I've made um, out of the 16. 
Um, and let's just let's start with the 13 first off. So here's the 13. Very smooth. Hmm. Tastes to me like could be a traditional mead. I'm trying to find any uh, uh, um, fruit flavors. I don't really taste any right here. So I like this one a lot. Very smooth. I think this is where it's going to get hard because these are the best of the best. Oh man. What is this one? Like I said before, I don't know all these. I kind of guessed with the previous one, and I'm still guessing as we're going. Uh, so I might be completely wrong, which is not necessarily a good thing, but reality, not too bad of a thing either. This one is a little sweeter. I'm more of a sweet mead kind of guy. So um, I would say the number two is, probably, is the winner here. And it is, I can't put my finger on what uh, kind it is. Now, there are a couple ones I didn't guess last time, like the mango mead. Um, I didn't guess that one at all. Uh, what other ones did I not guess? I can't remember exactly. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I would say which one this is. I don't have a great guess. But the number two, it moves on. Number two. Alright, next up we have the number eight, which the number started to rub off, but it's still there. And versus the number 16. This one, um, I'm pretty sure is the Boche, if I remember correctly. I really like the Boche, um, but I don't want to be too unfair to it, because this one smells great too. Oh, and I have a feeling that this is going to be hard round. I think I know what this one is. I'm going to start with the Boche, though. Hmm. Man, that caramelized honey flavor, it just pokes through. It's so it's sweet. It's got such a great aftertaste. Oh man, I love it. Um, I'm gonna try this now. This is the 16. Not the one I was thinking of. This one, uh, not super sweet. I mean, I'm gonna have to give it to the Boche just because I like the Boche quite a bit. It's, it's sweeter than, than this one right now. This one's smooth. Um, but ultimately smoothness is not the end all be all because I do like kind of the sweet um, and the, uh, the notes that the uh, fruit might put through, which this is a fruit mead. Mm -hmm. This is a fruit mead. This has to be the mango mead. Smelling it, it smells like it could be. I could be wrong though. <laughs> so we'll find out if I'm wrong or right. The number eight, Boche moves on. All right, next up, we're in our round uh, three, is we just got through our other two, so we have one more left after this, ultimately. We have the number three versus the number one, excuse me. This is definitely darker, a little, uh, looks a little clearer. Um, now, I wanna try the number one first, like I said, I'm being more critical of flavors and everything, so. This is number one. Got a little bite to it. Well, what is this one? Part of me feels like I should be on like on the dot. I should know which one uh, these are. However, I haven't tasted them too much. So maybe that's my saving grace. I don't know. Number this one. Uh, I can't say what it is. It's got a nice smooth flavor. It's definitely uh, a mellow mel of sorts. I want to say it's either peach, pear. It's not an orange. Not the mango. Hmm. I can't remember. I can't think. Maybe not the apple. But let's try this one now. It's definitely not the apple because this is the apple cinnamon. And the apple cinnamon, I made a big batch of this one. I think this is uh, one I made three gallons of. So this, oh, the apple flavor pokes through, so good. Um, and that cinnamon, you can smell it, you can taste it, it's, it's great. I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, so I'm gonna say the number three moves on. Unfortunately, the number one is not going to. All right, next up on our list, we have the number five versus the number 12. Now looking at the color difference between these two, there's a very 
large difference. However, I don't think color means everything in this case. Um, even though I have an idea what this one is, we'll find out. Um, let's try it. Let's go with the number five. No, no, we'll go with the number 12 first. This is 100% the blueberry, now I remember. Um, it's got that nice blueberry taste. I put them in, in the secondary. Um, this was one of the first meats, one of the first five meats I made, I think. Uh, number five now. No! Oh! I'm so upset. This is so hard. Number five is the peppermint mead. And I like it so much, but I also like the 12. Oh. This is where this tournament gets harder and harder. The other ones, I mean, they have a lot of they have flaws. You can kind of pick at them and say, like, well, I don't like it for this reason. Now I'm getting to the nitty gritty point of, oh man, this is, of, of, they're both really good. Now I gotta be picky. Really picky. Oh. The number 12, it has a little more bitter taste than I would, I would like. If I was being really, really picky, and I hate being that picky, especially with a mead that I made myself in this case, you know, one of my first meads. And this, this number, number five, it's just, it's got the smell, it's got the taste. Oh, it's, it's, it's good. I gotta give it to it. Number five, the peppermint, peppermint mead moves on. Okay, that is the end of round, uh, really it's gonna be round two. There's only one more round, well really, two more rounds. Uh, goodness, I'm not thinking correctly. There are four rounds. We just did our, our fourth one last video. This is the third round. We got a round, another round to say who's gonna go into the grand finals and ah, oh, this is getting more and more difficult because these meads are great. Um, so, let me show you the board, where we're at. Right now, with our board, we have our four bracket guys who are unfortunately not with us anymore. They're not bad meads by any means, but they're also not um, the top of everything currently. Next, we uh, knocked out a few as we went to our third stage. We knocked out even more, so we are left currently with the number two, the number eight, the number three, and the number five. So, within your bets, I'm curious to see who's still in. So, what I want you to do is I want you to comment on this video and say if you're still in and be honest. And if you're not still in, just be honest, but also say, hey, I bet the number whatever is going to win. So, um, we have two more rounds. Stick, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Like I said, they're kind of spread out, but this is a cool video series. I hope it leaves you in some sort of anticipation for the next one. Um, but on the next one, we'll break it down even further. And I am, I'm not uh, too excited. I am excited, but I'm also not excited because these needs are like the top of them all. Uh, and so this is where it gets real hard. But leave a like, leave a comment. Share. I don't believe this idea has ever been done. I think this is a very new concept for um, for me, and I love that I've done 16 meets now, which means that uh, you know I've been able to like to do this. You know, I can do this tournament, and ultimately, what's going to happen is I'm going to bottle these very soon, and when I bottle them, I'm going to put some away, and I'm going to have a meet tournament of probably 2020 or something or 2019 basically to see how these still stack up because some of these guys who might have not done so well could end up tasting better than these guys right now or those things, you know. So ultimately, I am super, super excited to see what those taste like. Stay tuned for next video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know where you're at in the tournament um, and share this video. Man, I would love to see it grow. So see you guys next time and cheers. Hey, this is Man Made Mead. We are on the third, um, third round of our tournament. So, uh, jumping right into it, just to remind you guys what's happening with this. We started off with 16 meads, eight on each side, to show you. 16, we had, uh, this is the board currently, we had eight on each side. We eliminated it down to four on each side in the last video. 
uh, well, excuse me, we limited it down to two, really, and in the previous video we did that. But now, today's video, we are in the second to last round, which means we have these four that are up to see who is the top of them all. Uh, so, we have left, and you should go ahead and get that on and put your bets, get in the comments, let me know what you think. I want to know, I want to see who's, who's right, ultimately, without going back and editing your comments. We are left with the number eight, the number two, the number five, and the number three. And I will make sure and put, you will know, even including these meads on the outside, what meads are what right now. Um, but ultimately, what I want us to, what you will see right now is that the real names of these. I don't know what means these are. And I've said that in previous videos too. I don't know exactly. I gave them different numbers so I wouldn't know. Part of it is to test my knowledge of my own needs and to see how much I know. We're going to start off on this side of the board with our second to last round. This is where I get really nitty gritty because this is the hard, hard stuff. Eight and two. These are our two numbers. So. Starting off with those, the eight and the two. All right, this is this is the hard part. Um, like I said, now suddenly I uh, I got to be really really picky, and I like these beads a lot, which is going to make this even harder. So uh, let's get started. I I, I uh, this is going to be hard. This is uh, uh, number two, I should say. I'm going to try the number two. Give you a comparison of colors. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the Boucher. I still haven't figured out what this one is. So, ugh, bad on me. Oh, no! Oh. This one. It's not. It's a fruit, mellow mouth. No, it's not. It's a... Oh, I don't know. I just know it's good. I gotta work, I'm working on my, my flavor right now. I'm getting used to tasting all these different meads. Oh gosh, this is hard. This is a, what is this? I don't know. It's got a sweet uh, taste to it. Uh, it does kind of taste like a traditional mead, but I have a feeling it's a mellow mel. Um, it is still like that sweet taste is what I really like ultimately. And uh, man, I don't know. That's, that's a good one. Next up is the eight, which I'm fairly certain is the Boucher. No, <laughs> oh, this is sweet. Ah, this is so good too. Man, I'm struggling big time. I knew this would happen when I started to do this. I knew I would have trouble. Um, when I got to this point. Oh man, this is hard. I gotta say, I gotta give it to the number two. You know, I don't know what it is. You'll know uh, before I do. Well, I'll know before you ultimately, but you'll know right now what it is. Uh, number eight, the Boucher, it's good, but it's really good, but I gotta give it to number two. And the number two moves on to the grand finals. Oh, this is hard, this is hard. Okay, we're moving on to the last round. Whatever this is just moved on to the grand finals. I don't know, I wish I knew what it was, but I don't. We are left with the number three and the number five, the last two, and oh. Oh, this is getting difficult. I know that these meads are going to be good. I know. I know how they are. So, let's just do it. Let's see. All right, here we are. The second to last round. The other last two we have, the five and the three. Now, um, like I said before, I didn't have the same glasses. Same size glasses, so unfortunately I did this. Let's see what these taste like. Oh, I'm going to start with the five this time. Oh, no. I haven't even tasted it yet. I know, it's going to be good. Oh, I dread. Oh, gosh. Peppermint bean. I love it. I love it. It's so good. It's um, that peppermint taste pokes right through. It's hard to beat. It's hard, hard to beat. Okay. 
Number three, let's see. No, oh, no, ah. my favorite meat, well, my first favorite meat I ever made was the apple cinnamon, which is this guy right here. Still so good, still that cinnamon flavor pokes through. It's really funny that the peppermint and the uh, cinnamon somehow got paired up, which I didn't say this earlier, but I did not arrange these to fight against each other in any sort of way. I just sort of mixed them around, and this is the end product. So, of this two, of these two. Hmm. Cinnamon's good. Man, I gotta give it to the peppermint meat. This peppermint meat is just so... I've liked it since the start. It's aged well. This is aged well too, but I think that this ultimately uh, trumps it. So, number five moves on. Wow. All right, that is the end of the third round. Um, we got one more round left. This is the grand finals next video. So uh, stay tuned for these next uh, this next video is the final one of the series. There are only four videos. Hopefully you've watched the other three. Place your bets. Let me know where you're at, how you're faring with all this stuff. I'd love to know who went out early and who uh, who's still in the game, realistically. So let me show you the board and then uh, so you know exactly what you're dealing with. On this board, uh, I'm going to make sure and place all the other numbers so you will know exactly what's going on with these guys who went out early, who went out, who went out. And who we're left with. So right now we are left with the number two and the number five. And I can't I can't say it enough. This is this is hard. These meads are, are great. Great, great, great meads. And I can't say enough about, about them. I am just I am just uh, suck realistically because they are just just great. So um, Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. There will be a last video for this, and then I have plenty more ideas. I'm going to bottle these into smaller batches and then save them. Have a mead tournament of 2019 or 2020 something and see who, how these still fare, um, ultimately. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter, at ManMadeMead. Um, and just follow me there. I post stuff. You can get some behind the scenes videos and stuff of what's happening here and other videos, stuff like that. So next time we will decide who is the man-made need tournament champion. And, uh, oh, I'm excited. This is going to be, going to be good. Stay tuned for next time. I will see you then. Cheers. Here we are. The final part of the Mead Tournament of 2018. Ah, this has been, I don't know if you've enjoyed the videos or not. I've enjoyed just making them and trying my meads. Um, just to recap real fast, I uh, started nine months ago. I finished my 16th, I'm on 17 meads now. I finished my 16th mead to try and decided to make this tournament. We've borne down to uh, just a few of these meads. So let me show you the board. Here's the board right now. This is what has happened. I will make sure to put all of the details about who's in, who's out, and what's what. Um, you can find uh, a good list of all these numbers. Uh, I They have a numbers for them originally, but what I did was I gave them a new number, paired them against each other in a random order, no specific order, and this is what we have left. So we are left with our grand finals, the last two of this whole thing. And they are the number five and the number two. And these, like I said, are the best of the best of my needs. Now, that's not to say that these guys are not good on the outside, or the ones that have gone through. They're good too. However, um, ultimately, I think I enjoy these two the best, clearly. So they've been going on. Um, I'm going to get right to it. Let's try it. Five and two. Here we are. Grand Finals, number two, in my left hand, or your right, number five. Oh, I gotta get real picky here. Especially since I know what, kind of what's happening. 
this is where it's hard to crown a champion because they're all so good. They're really, really good. Okay, I'm just gonna get right to it. Starting with, let's do the number two. Number two. Oh, so sweet, smooth, and just, oh, it's so good. It's, it's got this like, I, I still have yet to, this is meat, the meat has made it all the way through, and I don't know what it is. I have yet to figure it out. And maybe that's just because I'm almost surprised by how, how good it is. Um, so, number two. Number five, I know what this guy is. I know he's good. Mmm. That peppermint. Gosh. Peppermint flavor is, it's the smell of it is so good. So I think I'm gonna go with this last part based on a couple things. Smell, taste, and then ultimately smoothness. So, uh, I'm gonna get real picky here. And I gotta write down some numbers as I do this. Number two, smell. It's got a sweet smell. If I were giving it out of 10, 10 being the best, I'll give it a, 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 a seven. It's pretty good, okay? So I'll put uh, that number here, okay? So seven, here's the five peppermint. The smell of it, this is definitely like a nine. This is, uh, it's just, it's good. Okay, uh, next was flavor. The flavor of this one, it's got that nice mellow mellow, it's got a nice fruit, just like the honey. Everything went so well with it. I'd say it's a eight. Eight, so we got seven, eight, nine. Here's the, let's see. Taste on this one. The smell is almost a little better than the taste, so I can't give it quite as much. I'm gonna give this one, it still tastes good, but it doesn't taste as good as this, so uh, this is like a, I'd have to say this is like a, a, probably six of the two. So nine, six, seven, eight, Ooh, I hope I got my numbers right. Last one is the smoothness. This is definitely smoother, the number two. It doesn't have as much of a kick to it, which is fine. I like that. That doesn't have too much of a kick. I'm going to give this a, probably an eight, two. Seven, eight, eight. Oh, finally. We're left with... Seven. That's what I say. Nine, six, seven. Twenty-one, two. Oh wow. Twenty-three points. Oh, I think. Hope my math is right. I'm doing it in my head. To twenty-one points. The victor of the Mead tournament of 2018 is. The number two. And I don't know what it is. I gotta find out real fast. So, give me one second, I'm gonna find out which one it is because I feel crazy crowning something that I can't even think about. So, give me one moment. This turned out unexpected. This mead. The apple cinnamon mead. It's my big one. I thought it was happened earlier. I thought, oh my God, this beat out everything else and I am so, so shocked because in my mind, I thought the things like the boche, and I, I had a feeling that like some of the peppermint would go further, but I thought the blueberry was good. I thought a lot of these meads had such potential, and this one's good, and it beat them all out, which is crazy because you guys, um, if you've been watching these videos, you knew what it was from the start, which is kind of, kind of wild too. So, man, number... <sighs> I'm really glad because I made a three gallon batch of this guy, which means my best mead I have right now is the biggest batch I have. And that's great. So I am very excited for that. To give you guys a quick 
recap of everything. Here's the board. So in our board we have our champion, the number two, the apple cinnamon mean it made it through. It is the victor. We have all of these guys. Like I said, I will always make sure to put all of the information you need uh, to know. So uh, about what's what and what's moving where ultimately. Um, but uh, I have so enjoyed making this series, this video. I'm going to do it again and within a year or two years, whatever it is after these have aged more and I'll have even more means to go off of. But, uh, oh gosh, this, this was cool. This was really fun. These guys, I will say, are not bad. These meads out here are not bad. Just as these are not and these are not. Ultimately, this guy just kind of took over the rest of the game. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, first time I've ever done this video, I've, I've been really excited for this series. Um, as you can tell, uh, it's been something that I've been thinking about for a while and it just worked out perfectly. So, um, I plan to do more of these. I plan to take more videos. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever. Tell me if you are right. If you are right or wrong, I, I for sure don't think I was right um, with my guess, but uh, that's okay. Ultimately, I want to know what you guys thought. If you're right, wrong, or whatever you thought. So, thank you so much for watching this video, the series. I know it's been coming out over a little bit of time, but your patience is so, uh, you know, appreciated by me. I just, I, I can't believe that um, this channel is growing and seeing where we're going right now. So, I plan to do more of these. Leave me comments for future videos as well. I love hearing from you guys. Give me a suggestions for maybe next time I do this or a different video idea. I always want to try new things and give things a new shot. Or give things a shot. Excuse me. So, uh, thanks for watching. You guys are rock. You guys are so great. I will see you next time. Um, follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter, at ManMadeMead. Uh, you can see behind the scenes stuff of all this, of these things. And there's just a lot of cool stuff happening there. So. Thanks for watching, man. See you next time. I'm shocked. Cheers.